My parents are both immigrants. My mom is French Canadian. My dad is French. They immigrated here to the United States. And that story of immigrating here and kind of hustling and trying to make this thing work, I think was ingrained in me in, in many ways. My name is Alex LaRue. I'm the Chief Technology Officer and co-founder of ICON. ICON is a construction technologies company and our first product is called the Vulcan. It's a giant 3D printer that prints homes. I was about to graduate from college and I was trying to figure out what I should do after graduation. And I was kind of basically on a research project of trying to figure out what's like the cool next thing. And 3D printing, I realized, was like one of those things. At that time, small scale 3D printers, I just thought they were very limited in terms of what you could do with them. But I thought that maybe if we scaled up the printers on the order of like two orders of magnitude, really some interesting things could start to happen. And so that's what I basically did for the next two years. Went heads down and built some really, really large scale 3D printers. And with these printers, we ended up printing the first permanent 3D printed house in the United States in 2018. Now 20 homes have been 3D printed across a couple of different countries, some in Mexico, some in the United States, some in California. What that allows us to do is basically put these people who used to be in these really terrible conditions now in these safe, beautiful, comfortable, um, secure homes at a low cost. So that, that's really a compelling mission. Before I started Icon, I started four other companies and they didn't end up making it. But by starting those four companies, I really quickly figured out what it was like to be onto something and not onto something. If I were to give one piece of advice to entrepreneurs in this industry, it's that there's no such thing as overnight success. You know, these things take time. We first started prototyping and trying to make this real in 2014. That's now seven years ago. And we're just now starting to see the you know, surface of the success that we're going to have.